Hey everyone, I'm Janae Lee and welcome to my channel. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. And if you're a newbie, thanks for tuning in. Today, we're gonna be talking about what I knew and what I did before I relaxed my hair and what I wish I knew or what I found out after the fact. So if you wanna know the tea on everything I found out, keep on watching. But first, make sure you subscribe to my growing channel. Let's get started. Okay, I may be looking down for reference. I wanna make sure I stay on track. We're gonna be diving into three things that I knew or that I did before I decided to relax my hair. So the first thing that I knew was my hair. Now with this, you may not know your hair type or your hair porosity. I didn't even know that was a thing until I started to research this whole relaxed hair journey again but I knew my hair. I knew my natural hair. I knew that in the perimeter, it's finer. And I knew that in the middle, um, it's more coarse. I knew that much about my hair. So make sure you know your hair. Make sure you know how it reacts, um, which part is thicker, which part is thinner. That way when it comes to relaxing, especially if you're going to self-relax, which is what I did, you know where you need to put the relaxer at first. That way everything is pretty much processed about the same. You don't want one part processing faster than the other part because this part was finer than the other. The second thing that I did was I researched. I researched, I researched, I researched. Now, just to give you a little backstory, I have been, I have relaxed my hair before. I've colored my hair before, I bleached my hair before. I did a lot of things to my hair before. And this time around, I wanted to make sure that I, if I decided to do this, I was going to do it in a more healthy way, more sustainable way, etc., cetera, et cetera. So I made the decision to go relax back in the beginning of the summer. And that's where my research began. I looked on Facebook and I joined some relaxed hair groups. I looked on Instagram and I followed some women who have been doing this journey for a very long time. And of course, I got on YouTube and I looked at some videos. Not only did I find some people and some videos to watch and to see how their process was, I also asked a lot of questions in these Facebook groups. And I also looked at different products that was probably gonna be in my regimen now on that may be different from my natural hair journey. The third and final thing I did was prep my hair. So September, September is when I did a protective style. I did box braids and I only left it in for a month, um, but I took out my braids and I gave my hair a break for two weeks. I just wanted to make sure it was just nice and healthy not um, strain or stress because I am going to be putting chemicals in it. So I took down my hair. I did a good protein treatment, follow that up with a moisturizing deep conditioner. Then I did a co-wash in the middle of the week, very moisturizing products I used um, during that time. And then my last washing session, I did a protein treatment along with a strengthening treatment. And um, I may post that video because I did record the strengthening wash session before my um, relaxer. So I may post that video, we'll just see. But I did do that and then I didn't touch my hair, I didn't wash my hair manipulate my hair in any way for a good week before I relaxed my hair. I made sure I detangled it really well. I blow dried it. I The only thing that I did do was moisturize and sealed. Um, and I stopped that three days before my relaxing process just so that the grease or the oils that I did have in my hair wouldn't make my hair under process once I did put the relaxer on. Okay, so now that we discussed the three things that I did know or that I researched um, before I relaxed my hair, let's talk about the five things that I wish I knew or that I found out after the fact, after I had relaxed my hair. So again, I'll probably be looking down just to reference my notes. So number one, and this goes back to research, 
I did not find a lot of virgin relaxer videos um, on YouTube. I found some, I really didn't like their process or their method, but I took what I could out of that. And most of my research really came from people who retouch their hair. So with that being said, when it came to the smoothing process of my hair, I really focused on the mid shaft and I kind of touched on my roots and I kind of touched on my ends, but I didn't give it as much attention as I should have. And that led to me having some under processed areas. So my ends are definitely puffy and I may insert a picture for you to see. my ends are definitely puffy I do have a patch in the back that's a little under process and the same thing for my roots I didn't really smooth it down because I didn't use a comb if you watch my relaxer video you'll see I didn't use a comb I didn't use any spatula um, I didn't use anything I just used my fingers to smooth it I didn't want to I was just being really cautious and me being really cautious turned to me possibly having to do a corrective relaxer in the future if I decide to do that. Number two, relaxers burn. If you've never been burned by a relaxer, I'm letting you know now, it burns. Now, if you watch my relaxer video, you'll see that I did base my scalp, um, did my hairline, did my ears, did all of that stuff. But I was being really messy with my relaxer and because of that I was getting it on different parts of my faces, my face. And with that, after a while I realized, oh, it's burning. <laughs> There's a tingling sensation. Yeah. So you want to just make sure that you're being nice and clean if you're going to self-relax and um, just don't get the relaxer all over the place, especially your face. Thankfully, I didn't have any scabs. I didn't, it wasn't on there for too long, so nothing happened, but it's just something to be mindful. The third thing that I figured, you do not need to blow dry your hair to get ready for the relaxer. I did that so that my hair wouldn't be detangled by the time I got there and it'll be easier to get through it. But then I realized that once I moisturized and sealed, my hair reverted right back and went right back curly. Cause of course I was natural. It's a virgin relaxer. So yes, no need to blow dry. Just make sure your hair is really detangled. If you want to pre-section it, that way you don't have to manipulate it and just wear a wig over it. Um, I was fortunate enough, I'm on maternity leave, so I didn't go anywhere for that whole entire week. I just left my bonnet on, left my hair alone, moisturize and seal, that's it. The fourth thing, and this to me is probably the most important thing. Wash your tools. Wash your tools, wash your combs, wash your brushes, your clips, wipe off your flat iron, all of it. Wash your tools. And I say that because when I finished my relaxer and I went to flat iron my hair, I'll insert a picture. My hair was very heavy and oily. It looked like, okay, I, I didn't have this flowy look that I do, I have now. It was very flat and I did not like it. So I didn't even wear it straight. I pretty much just let it go, moisturize and seal, co-wash, just jump right back into my routine after I had did that because I just didn't like the look of it. So wash your tools but also be mindful of the products you're using and how much you're using i know with us natural girls we're just used to slapping on a product slapping on a product using a whole bunch it doesn't matter but with relax hair especially if you're going to be using heat it does matter so these are the two things i use this heat protector and i use this argan oil Oop. I'll insert it um, below which ones that I use to um, treat my hair before I actually put heat to it. And I think I use too much, especially the argan oil. So this time around, I decided to use a different product 
and I'll put that down below. It's um moisturizing. It's a thermal moisturizer. This worked really well on my hair. Just put a little bit on all four sections and I was able to achieve this look. So I'll most likely be using this from now on if I want to flat iron my hair. But again, be mindful of the products you're using and how much you're using and wash your tools. Okay. And the last thing, the last thing is have someone else trim your hair for you. Now, I'm an advocate for doing everything yourself. Obviously, I did my relaxer myself, but I know myself and I get scissor happy. I'll insert a video or a clip or a picture of the last time I cut my hair. Yeah. Comment down below if you are uh, another person that's scissor happy just like I am because uh, I know I can't be the only one out here just <laughs> hacking off their hair. You want to make sure that you're having a nice, even, clean slate to start this process with. This journey, as you will, off with. You want to make sure your hair is nice and even or as even as possible. You're clipping those ends or you're getting a trim if you need to. I ended up cutting off two to three inches and I was okay with that because I rather health over length anytime. So just make sure that in the way that I was able to achieve that was by going to someone else and having them cut it for me seeing what needed to be done she um cut it across and then she said that there were shorter pieces um so she did long layers perfect i have a nice clean slate to work off and maybe i'll eventually learn how to cut my hair or maybe i'll just go and have it trimmed um i'm only going to be trimming my hair with every relaxer so it's really not that serious to me to go to someone and and just go and have them do it but um we are in quarantine so and the numbers are rising so we'll see what happens the next time i decide to relax my hair all right so that ends this video we went over three things that i knew and that i did to prep my hair and i really think that doing those things really made sure that my hair stayed nice and healthy um I was very mindful of what I was doing so I think those tips and those things that I did may help you if you decide to do the self relaxer and we also went over five things that I wish I knew or that I found out after the fact and maybe if you have this information it'll help you along the way if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up for me Thank you for tuning in. And as a matter of fact, how about I put in another video for you to watch? Right here, it'll probably be right here. I'll insert my relaxer video, that way you can have both of these as reference. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.